we talked about Ultra Bridge. You got that tour coming up in mm-hmm. August, and then you guys just announced uh, another tour, uh, Static <laughs> X, right? How crazy, dope. Uh, we'll dope. open up Seven Dust and Static X. Well, funny thing about it is Etzel Dope. Uh, we have not performed together for 24 years with that band. But over the course of all these years, me and Etzel have stayed friends and have done a lot of work behind the scenes. <laughs> a lot of things that you would laugh at that we have done projects on. Like I ended up years ago, Etzel called me up and I did a song for the National Hot Rod Association. <laughs> Oh, sick. You were, so he, he mentioned a few of these things. So he was on the show last <laughs> oh, year. Wow. And we were talking about some of his stuff that he was doing, uh, you yeah. know, behind the scenes dope and everything like that. Uh-huh. I don't know if he mentioned you being you being a part of, uh, of a couple of them there, though. So yeah, the I did. Hot Rod one he was on? Uh, I did that. I sang, uh, He called me in and I did that. I changed up some stuff with it. And I did the National Hot Rod Association song. But then Ansel also called me up. Uh, because the Atlanta Falcons years ago uh, needed a song, and I we went in and I wrote uh, Falcons on Top, and then brought Seven Dust the band in, and we did a video for it right in front of the stadium and all that stuff. Had the Atlanta Falcons cheerleaders in the video with us, uh, and the funny thing, one of my very good friends was uh, one of the captain. Well, if you call it a captain, there was a cheerleader, that they're pro, but it was Alicia, and uh, it's now Alicia Taylor which is Corey Taylor's wife. was oh, a good no friend of my back. So she's in that. This is a true story for all you guys out there that are fans. So she's in the Falcons on top video with us, and she's one of the cheerleaders. And it was funny. We're in this uh, rented tour bus outside the stadium waiting to do the video, and Alicia and the cheerleaders come show up. And, of course, we're all looking at these Atlanta Falcons cheerleaders. They're going to be in their videos. This is great, man. And they're outside, and they're doing the – they're doing whatever they're getting ready to do for the song. And I was interested. And I was like, wow, I know Alicia. I'm going to go ask her. I was like, dang, how long did it take y'all to learn how to do the routine for this? She's like, oh, honey, this ain't nothing. She's like, oh, we're just doing the same routine to living on the prayer. It's kind of the same beat. And I was like, what? And she said, oh, halfway <laughs> there. Oh. And it was Falcons on top. I was like, it sucks. <laughs> no, damn it. I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> now I got to hear that song later. <laughs> yeah, now yeah. I got to go. I mean, that would have gone under my radar as a Raiders uh, fan, because I know you said you like all football. I like all football, too, but I'm a diehard Raiders fan. So Right on, man. It was so so funny, (laughs) but that's a true story. So anyway, so Edsel's been a friend for a long time, and we ran into each other uh, a couple couple of years ago in Sherman Oaks. I think that's where it was at, and I was working with Sahaj from Raw on my solo stuff. And that's what came in and was talking about dope and some other projects that he had going on. And uh, we laughed and said, man, it would be really funny if we uh, got to tour again together. And we said we would make that happen. And sure enough, we made the call. He got, I got the call and me and Edsel talked before it all kind of went down. And I think this is going to be something that's going to be really nostalgic and fun. Uh, and, and to pay homage to, to Wayne, which was a, a great performer back in the day. And what they're doing now is really incredible. And the production on this is going to be crazy. And I'm excited about you know, just having a good time and uh, co-headlining. So I like to be able to, you know, do a little set, have a good time and watch some somebody else's set and possibly be at your local Applebee's or fucking Friday's by the fourth song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> 